Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody tonight? Okay. Okay. Not having fun. We're trying to transfer videos right now. And uh, I've named this Foundation Week. And uh, I thought we'd play with some VFX. If you happen to come on and want to follow along, um, if you see up here in this side of your phone or thing, if it says live, it means I'm live. Um, I'll answer questions, whatever you need. If there's nothing there, then it's on the replay. But say hello. And if you're watching the replay later, then um, put uh, replay in your comments. Okay. Um, I haven't found the right time to catch people. And uh, I thought we'd mess with some VFX tonight. Kind of give you guys an idea of, of how well it works. And as you can see, it's my day off and the hair looks like crap. But um, I need my roots done really bad. So this is makeupless. I did put on some mascara this morning which is struggling today. It's, um, I don't know, something, it's rainy and cold here and gross. So, um, I was seeing if anybody could come on. So here's the thing, um, VFX. VFX is pharmacy's full coverage foundation. Okay. All right. And the coolest thing is it comes in a pump. Um, which is fantastic. And I thought tonight I would do one side of my face, kind of give you a general idea of what this foundation does. I want to see if I can, does that look better or worse, guys? Better, I think. Yeah, better. Okay, so the thing with VFX is most of it is yellow-based, and they have one rose-based foundation, which is number four, okay? And that's the one I use in the winter. Um, I need pink base no matter what. But don't forget, if you need rose base, you can mix the two. You can mix two together. So I have rose base and I have number four. And then I also have, what number are you? I have O2. Okay. And you can mix these together to make one shade. And it, what it does is it'll put some rose inside of it. So, but I think tonight I'm just, well, no, I might mix them. But in this light, I can really see the difference in the foundations. See what I mean? These are close to the same level. This is a yellow base. This is a, a pink base. Okay. This would be for people who don't burn easy. This would be people who burn easy. Okay. Or have pink undertones to their skin. As you can see, I have pink undertones to my skin. Okay. So... Anyway, um, I'm trying to see if I want to mix it up, but I don't think I will. What do you think? Should I mix the two together or should I just um, wear the one? So, so far nobody's watching tonight. And um, I thought I'd just kind of give you a look of my own. Um, we're going to mess. I'm back in my brace. Um, I got in a wrestling match with my nephew yesterday. Not wrestling, but tickling match. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting on some primer on my bad spots and my lines. And, you know, primer goes in and it fills in your creases. It fills in your um, lines. Well, as best as it can, okay? Um, and it, it performs a smoother application, okay? And you have... The, the pro, okay, and then you have the um, strobe. And the strobe, um, I don't know, it's really great for taking photos. And if you are popping on, just give me a hi, throw me a heart, okay, let me know you're here. And we're talking VFX, okay. This little bottle, I can do my whole face with one pump, okay, and get full coverage. Tonight, I'm only going to do half my face. And I love the feel of primer. It's so soft. But let me know you're here. Um, I'm live right now. So uh, whoever's popping on. And I'm going to do br brush application because the good hand is in a brace tonight. So um, 
and this is from Pharmacy's new line of brushes that are vegan. All right, this is a foundation brush. All right, it's flat. You can drop it right on top of here or you can dot it onto your face and then go in and pop, 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 pop and then smooth it in, okay? Um, some rather would rather use a sponge um, or just your fingers um, and do the application. So everybody's popping on, popping off, it's funny. I know we're all busy. So I am going to, okay, that's all I need, okay. I'll show you what I did. Okay, it's one pump, but I put it on the brush, all right? And I'm gonna tap, if you hear a lot of talking in the background, um, grandkids are getting ready to go to bed. I've done this before, I've done it right at bedtime, and I don't get kisses and hugs. So anyway, I'm gonna show you, this is a the pink base, rose base colored um, foundation of the VFX, it's full coverage. And mind you, our serum foundation is also full coverage, okay? And as you see, my skin is pink toned without, without um, foundation on. Hopefully there's no cussing. So I think they had a good evening tonight. But seriously guys, look at that. That's with not even a full pump. Okay, look at the coverage. And I put that on with my brush. All right. Okay. Now. Okay, so the one thing great about the brush is you can um, go back in. It's, it's usually still got a little, look how well it takes it out of there. But I'm going to take and I'm going to add another drop because this is half a drop or half of a full pump. I'm going to take another half. i got to find the right lid. That is the right lid of the VFX. Okay. And we're going to do it again. Okay. And this would be for those who want super full coverage. Okay. Like you want to take pictures kind of coverage. All right. Let's see, I'm just, I'm trying to do half my face to give you a general idea of what this foundation can do for you, okay? I know there's lots of foundations out there, awesome companies that have great foundations, but of all of them, $24.90 for, or $22.90, 22 I think, for a, a thing of foundation that's going to last you months, right? You're usually going to pay around $40 for the full Okay, so anyway, always draw your foundation down onto your neck. Okay, so it's back to work tomorrow. How many of you have you had to work today? Anybody? Did you have to work today? I technically worked today. I had, we had to get some groceries and I took Jerry for his dental appointment and we, um, come on in. Like a hugs and kisses? <laughs> yeah, I can show hey. you so. Come on. I'm giving your mom hugs and kisses so she can get on with her makeup. Don't worry, I'll thing. <laughs> Don't worry, you don't want to show me. That's not. I don't know. That's why the light's off. That's why the light's off, because I got my other light on. I love you. Thank you. Have a good night. Sleep tight. Peace. Peace. Yeah. Are you lying? I am. <laughs> Peace I want it the is. internet. Yeah. You're on the internet, you goof. Yeah. Love you. Love you too. She's on the internet. Sleep tight. It's <laughs> all bad. Shut the door. <laughs> Shut the door till Grandpa will be out in just a minute. All right, I got my kisses tonight. I got my kisses tonight. Nothing better than getting your kisses. Okay. So, okay, guys, so. Okay, so with VFX, no VFX, right? 
I mean, look at my nose. I did wind up getting half my nose. But I guess to me, you'd have to do that in order to get the full effect of it. But look at that. And it's so lightweight, you can't feel it. And I always go over everything. I know some leave the eye out, some put on their eye makeup first and then put on their foundation. I'm just a creature of habit, I put on my foundation first. And then if I need to, I can go back and uh, correct powder and stuff that gets on it. Okay, so we've got VFX in 04 on my face. As I said before, I'm a pink tone person. This is the only um, one with a pink base, okay? So if you tend to be pink skinned, you want this, okay? But if it's too light for you, then we can match you up with another one and you can combine the two, okay? All you do is just mix them up on your fingers and, and put them on your face. It's that simple. So, um, and then again, it's gonna last you probably a year. So, unless you are a diehard makeup wearer every day, which I am not. So, as you can see, day off face. So, we didn't go on a date tonight. We went out to lunch, and so I scared people with my natural look. But anyway, you see the line? Okay. And don't ever forget VFX or pharmacy products in general are um, non-toxic, uh, better for your skin. I've yet to have a breakout and I tend to forget or no, don't take off my makeup at night. I'm terrible about it. So, um, and then I wash my skin in the morning if I do that. Okay. Um, anyway, I need to do a full face, but I'm not going to do that tonight. I didn't mean to go so far over, but, um, this week's going to be all about foundations and, letting y'all check them out. And this week I thought I'd do VFX all by itself, but it might come to, I'll do the serum because, um, the serum foundation is another one that can be, it can be full coverage. Okay. Um, it's a matter of how much you put on the brush. One, two dots is medium coverage. Three dots to four dots is full coverage. All right. It's got a little of an oil a serum in it. Okay. And it's great for aging skin. Okay, now today, one more thing. Today I posted about um, concealers, about using them under your eye, okay? I've done a few photos that way, um, just to kinda, um, back in some of my pictures, you'll see the eyes are brighter. They have the liquid and you have the stick, okay? Like, it looks like a lipstick, okay? So you're, you're, you want it like one shade lighter than your foundation, okay? And you're going to take it and you're going to make a V here. Okay, I grabbed the darker one. That's what I get for working in a dark room. Okay, you're going to make a V, okay? With the concealer. Okay, that's the liquid. And then you're going to tap it into place. I'm going to have to grab the other one because you're not going to see the result with this darker one and what you do is you just tap it don't wipe it tap it into place go up the side of your eye go the inside of your eye okay trisha almost walked in here and that would have freaked her out because she had a long day at work today okay so let's try this with the actual one that's lighter this is um porcelain i think so the deal with concealers, they're great for cover-up. There, that's better. They're great for cover-up, but just watching trainings and stuff, guys, they are absolutely fantastic for um, contouring, okay? Again, if you, if you sport dark eyes, um, your eyelids are dark, use the eyelid primer. Your eyelid primer is going to give you more of an advantage and if you want, you don't have the concealer, you can take that primer and you can put it under the eye. But look how it just kind of goes right with the foundation, right? Right? So you have that and then it's got to dry. It's shiny till it dries. So, and then you got the stick concealer. Okay, let me make sure that's concealer. Yeah. And so... This goes on 
See, it's the same color. And this one would be easier to apply. You know what I mean? Go up the side of your eye, inside your eye, and then again, you're gonna tap it into place. You can use a sponge if you want, or you can use um, your finger. And it does not add hardly any time to your makeup regimen, okay? If, if you're very simple and you don't like a lot of work, I'm all about it. Um, they, I have my days that I put on a full face, like I will tomorrow, because I'll have time in the morning um, before I go to work, because uh, I get to go in a little later. And you can take that, put on your foundation. Um, do it before you put on your mascara. Um, and then put that, see how that blended, guys? But once you put your eye makeup on and you actually put the right color on, like I didn't at first, it brightens your face. Okay. So again, V shape under the eye. Okay. Hi, Miss Stormy. How is everybody? Everybody good? Well, um, V shape under the eye. Again, take it up to the sides of the eye and you're going to tap it into place. Okay, I know a lot of people complain about it causing cracking under the eye. I just don't think there's a way around that um, to do that. But it is a fantastic way to make your eyes look brighter and your eyes look younger. And it actually takes away from the purple. Okay, and um, so on. So I want to take a picture of this before I get off. But you take and you do... Your VFX foundation, um, those are popping on. I did a VFX demo tonight on half my face. VFX? No VFX. I did concealer under the eye to brighten the eye. I grabbed the wrong one. And so I don't get the brightness like I was hoping for. And then this is the eye without it, the eye with it. The coverage is phenomenal, okay? You see my age spots. Okay, and my sun damage, and she burned one off over here the other day. But, and then my my eyeglass mark is, can't help that. So, always draw it into your hairline and into your ear. Okay, and this is the 04 rose. And like I said, if you are pink skinned, okay, if you burn in the sun, you want a pink based foundation, if at all possible. Um, and then, like I said, they're developing more of them. But get the 04, and then we can match you up with one of the yellow base, and you put them together. Like I'm 04 and 02. Okay, that's a really common combination. Okay, and you can take the two and put them together and put them on your face, and that's going to give you that pigment that you're looking for um, to make your skin look right. And um, it's okay to have two foundations to work with till the day they come out with um more of the rose base. Because it's a European based company, they have more darker skinned ladies. Um, you have more olive complexions and so they need yellow base. They also don't burn. So I'm sitting here using a wipe, getting it off my fingers. <laughs> so, um, but you, you do, you want to um, combine or just um, go with four. And you can blend that in with bronzer or blusher. There's always a way to make your foundation look like you're not pale. But this is a great color for me. Okay. My eyes don't look as tired or as pink. You see that? And pink foundation, like I said, a rose, rose base is what you would call it. Foundation. All right. And let me get the four again. And this is it. It, it is a pump. Okay, it's twenty two ninety. Yeah, twenty two. I think it's twenty two ninety. If not, it's twenty five nine, twenty four ninety. Um, a bottle, and you don't need much. Um, I can do it with a half a pump, one whole side of my face. I can do my whole face with one pump. Okay, this was a brush application. You can do it sponge or by hand, whichever you prefer. Okay, so. Bless your hearts and everybody have a blessed evening and a wonderful work week. And I'll be back uh, maybe in the morning to talk to y'all a little more. And again, I just wanted to talk to you about our VFX full coverage foundation. And it's a, it's called VFX Pro. All right. Any questions at all, just give me a holler. 
and uh, we can talk shop, okay? So, none, one. Hi, Kim. None, and with the VFX. And like I said, I'm not doing a whole face tonight because it's late, and I'll get up in the morning and do a whole face um, for work, and you guys can walk, walk with me through it for those who are not heading off to work in the morning. And otherwise, you can go back and watch the um, replay, okay? So any questions regarding the foundations, please, 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 if you get on and, and just now, go back and watch the whole thing and um, learn a little bit about application and concealer, using a concealer for something other than covering blemishes and zits and stuff. Um, and I've, I'm in love with that, the, the ability to do this because I my, my skin's getting older, but the brightening Luma, Luma Radiance line is doing wonders for my skin. So especially when the dermatologist is like, yeah, let's blast this one. It doesn't really need it, but let's blast it. And and that's all. She gave, she said, I don't even have to come back next year. I can skip a year. So um, uh, that's it. And VFX, baby, all the way. Um, and I'll have one day I'll do BB and I'll do CC because there's some information you need to know about CC cream. Um, wasn't even think about CC cream in this way, um, for people who shouldn't use CC cream. So, um, anyway, any questions and Stormy, it's great to see you pop on and Miss Kim, you must have babies to bed. Like mine just went to bed, grandbabies. So, uh, I'm getting off and you all have a blessed night. Okay. See you later. Bye.